What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install a USB charger in your FG using the 12 volt cigarette lighter. Now I realize for people who have FGXs or Mark IIs, uh, this might seem pretty redundant, but we're gonna put these down here on the passenger side. You could also put them uh, underneath the air conditioning vent in the back. That way people in the back of the car can actually charge their phones as well. And obviously you can have multiple devices being charged at once using this method. First, we need to remove the center trim. This will give us access to the 12 volt wires for the cigarette lighter needed to power the USB charger. Start by removing your cup holder. Opening the center storage compartment lid, you'll find the edge of the trim that you can gently lift to begin removing it. Like most interior panels, this is just a process of slowly moving along, gently pulling it up and it releases the clips that are holding it in. At the opposite end of the panel to where we started, you'll find a clip on each side just behind the cigarette lighter, which you can gently lift up and remove the whole panel. On the back of this panel, you'll find where the auxiliary and the cigarette lighter are both plugged in. This black plug is what we'll need to power our USB charger. The kick panel trim is also very easy to remove. Starting at the back and working your way along the length of it, pry it downwards to release all the clips. We're gonna be cutting a hole in this quarter panel about here, so that way this USB has the space to sit in there nice and neat and nice and snug and the cord easily comes through this hole here and comes out the top there or through there wherever you want to do it obviously you guys are going to have a uh, a bit of difficulty if you've got the tissue box holder in it might be easier just to drill a small hole somewhere down the bottom behind the behind the tissue box holder under under it something like that and we're going to feed the wires through. As you can see, I've measured some wire out and I've connected some blades and some connections to it so that that way we can plug them straight into the standard uh, cigarette lighter plug here and plug the other end into our little blades on the back of the USB. I've got these about, round about the length, somewhere between uh, the area where the tissue box holder is and this kick panel on the outside. So what I'm going to do now is connect them up to the USB and we're going to feed them through and see where they sit. Now, as you can clearly see, I, d I don't have a blade on this cord here. That's because the blades I've got are actually too big to be able to fit into here. So just so that I can do the video, just for illustration purposes, I put the wire in. Obviously, it's probably um, going to be better uh, and in the long run and cleaner if you were to actually use the cigarette lighter uh, to just cut this connection off completely and solder uh, the wires together properly uh, just for illustration purposes I'm just going to put some tape on this so that it doesn't come out with the correct size hole now drilled in our panel we can drop our USB charger straight in and secure it using the inbuilt mounting system which is just a thread with a little ring that screws straight in so as you can see we've got our USB in now we have that little retaining ring around the edge there which we simply screw on and we can make it uh, nice and tight so that the entire thing doesn't move around. It also means that we have the ability to slightly adjust it. We can turn the USB so that it's nice and straight and then hold it still and then screw that in nice and tight so that it won't move anymore. And uh, now it's straight relative to the rest of the car, which is um, aesthetically pleasing. 